Revelations is back on a Nintendo platform, again. This isn't the first rodeo for Resident Evil Revelations on a Nintendo platform. Originally starting out as a Nintendo 3DS game released back in early 2012, Revelations has been remastered in HD and is available on all last and current generation consoles. Not wanting to leave the Switch out in the cold, Capcom has decided to also bring the game out on Nintendo's new platform. Not only that, but they also brought it to the Tokyo Game Show this year and I got a chance to try it out in docked mode. As with Revelations 2, there are multiple options for what gamers were able to play on the show floor. I went decided to basically play the game from the beginning and work my way through the prologue and part of the first episode. I was a bit apprehensive and really had no choice, but I had the opportunity to try out the game with motion controls. Button placement is pretty consistent with previous releases of the game. Holding ZL aims, holding L controls the Genesis scanner, pressing ZR, while aiming shoots and ZR by itself readies the knife. As for motion controls, there are four optional things that you can do here aim, reload, use the knife and escape enemy grapple attacks. I was really surprised with how well the aiming worked here. As soon as you hit ZL, you move around the right Joy-Con. Of course, you can still aim with the right stick, but the motion aiming felt really nice. Reloading has two options with motion, one of which I couldn't get to work. The quick and easy one was to just swing down the right Joy-Con. The other, more complicated option, is to move the right Joy-Con's IR camera over your hand. The knife requires you to swing the right Joy-Con to the right, and the grapple escape could be executed by moving the left Joy-Con from left to right. The visuals and revelations aren't necessarily bad, but they look a bit underwhelming by today's standards. From afar, things look passable, but the closer you get to inspect something, the muddy textures stand out. Character models suffer less from this than do environmental things like walls or floors, but it was still noticeable. Honestly, most people probably won't notice the visual shortcomings, but it should be noted that there is a bit of a last-gen look here. Resident Evil Revelations is starting to show its age visually. However, at the same time, the game still controls great. I'm not a huge proponent of motion controls, but the subtle additions with the Joy-Con actually felt good. Switch owners won't have to wait long as Revelations and Revelations 2 releases in late November.